a new wheel cylinder to go in that. Now I'm hoping that I can get the wheel cylinder in without taking this hub off and this big daft spacer ring off. Because that's heavy and I'm lazy. Thankfully I did all the fighting with these when they were still originally fitted. Probably seven eighths. Yeah. Eh, not that bad. This thing, it's cool. Yeah, let's remember which hole they go in. No, I'm going to be forgetting it completely. Let's check that they actually thread in. They should. And they do. Cool. So, so far, we're off to an okay start. That's it. It's all downhill from here. Check that this was my rag. I've lost my rag. Fitting screws into here. And it does. Okay, okay, we're we're off to a pretty good start. Two nine five seven nine C. Hmm. They look pretty much the same though. So I can live with that. These are in sore need of replacement. I don't know, maybe maybe they could be a good core part. Just Get this, the Titanic. Okay. So if we get this heading to here, and this is totally not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take the hub off. But I don't want to, so I'm going to end up struggling just to make sure I do. Right. Let's resume. It's futile endeavor. Whoa, we're halfway there. And which way does this go? This would have to go in. this side to be of any use whatsoever and of course that's the side that isn't lined up because duh why wouldn't it be It's going in big test. Why wouldn't it? Hell, I 
can barely see any of this. So you'll just have to imagine that I've managed to get these bolts screwed in, not cross-threaded, and they've gone all the way down. you just have to imagine that. I know, I know, suspension of disbelief. Oh gee, maybe you should use a socket, you dumbass. Yeah, probably. I bet I don't have a socket long enough. Yeah, it's a TV. Yeah, yeah 9 yeah. Oh, it is just long enough. I must have done something right this week. Point in the distant future, I may well have to take that bolt out again because I'm going to have to have a little adapter loom, loom like it's a piece of wiring, you idiot, buffoon. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to have to have a little adapter fitting um, to go from. The M12 of the brake holes to the half inch UNF of this uh, this little doohickey here. Yeah, that's... How do you get a spanner in on this? What is this? Why? Why would you do this? Well, not probably. I will. Wow, that almost fits. What the hell? Um. That's throwing me for a loop. Um. What the shit? The problem is, of course, is that. That's half inch UNF. That's M12 by 1. And it goes in about that far and then it binds, but it's not sealing anything. No good. So I shall have a small tab. Tab? Not a tab. I shall have a short length of copper brake line with this M12 nut on one end and a half inch UNF doohickey on the other end converts it like so which of course is going to end up needing something on it to support it but you know I'll just a little tab for a p-clip or something for some reason I kind of pictured having to make something that looked round and picked up on that and had a tail that stuck out a long way but that surprisingly that almost actually fit I'm just as surprised as you are. Right, now fold it in. Let's move this before I drop it on myself. Right. I merely have to get these in there. Again, while trying everything to avoid having to undo the hub. Because I've topped the axle up, it's guaranteed to piss oil everywhere. Um, yeah. Let the yakety sax commence.
，兵，我想上高。哇哦哦，老对的，阿尼林龙，阿尼高吧。That is well, that's sharp. Yeah, nearly. Let's get that to pin over there. Something like, but entirely not like. Where? Yeah, that, that rubber's not going to go on there, is it? All pushed out of line. So I'm gonna have to pry on the bottom of here. Which of course isn't gonna work because of course it's not. <sighs> Gee, maybe this is why they say you should take the hub off to do this. Yeah, that's right. Laugh it up. I'll get it. I'll get it. Honest. Two days later. <laughs> yeah. I know. Was it just wrong this? Make that thing. No, I wish the adjuster on this. <sighs> One eternity later. Now what we're gonna do? Now what we're going to do is really screw ourselves over and make it a little adapter stuff. It goes from a female 12mm to a male half inch UNF. A few moments later. Keep cutting and cutting and cutting and eventually it falls off. Ding. Nice razor sharp edge. That will chew you to bits if you even look at it funny. Where's my rag? I've lost my rag again. Is this? It's 15 mil because of course. And we wiggle and jiggle and curse until this pipe fits through here, and then we'll not be able to get the bastard thing out again afterwards. Making sure, of course, not to put our hand on the end of there as we're pushing the pipe through, because the end of the pipe is incredibly sharp and it will cut a nice little hole in you. Don't ask how I find that out. We've raised out the ever high quality flaring kit. One eternity later. And there we go. There's no real twist in this line, that's just how it naturally wants to lay. Um, because that's all still loose yet. Um, I did find my 13mm spanner, the one that I said I couldn't find for ages. I put the uh, the flaring toolbox down on it. Go me. Now, I'd like to fill this with fluid and at least see if all of that moves. But, unfortunately, that's a little easier said than done because the fronts are teed together all that through and up into there, there's a T in there um, and there's as yet no cylinder on well no there is a cylinder on the other side but it's it needs replacing with the other new old stock one just like this um, but having just said that 
um, my brain has finally caught up and realised I can just make up another one of these, plug it into the dead cylinder on that other side, and that should stop all the fluid from falling out. So, uh, thank you for being a rubber duck. Um, yeah, so I will crack on with that, and when that's connected, I'll remove this dead bit here that's just acting as a kind of a coat hanger for this linkage. Um, and in its place will go a line that goes into the master cylinder on that branch there somewhere up in that branch down in there somewhere um, and that will then give me fluid to the front brakes at which point I should be able to press the pedal and actually have the master cylinder pump fluid and then I'll be able to see if these move which sounds very exciting. Well, it doesn't sound very exciting, but it will be anyway, because it's been such a long time. And it has taken me so freaking long to get anything done on this. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, quarters. Hey, you did cut the right pipe there, didn't you? <sighs> yeah. Um. <sighs> Wait, what? Is that just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Brute force and ignorance wins again. You weren't even looking. Oh yeah. Sort of seal front fluid path. Cool. Oh, that's not ideal. Let's sort that out. That's better. Cool. Right, just so you can see why I didn't bring you in here whilst I want to undo it. That down there. Well, my fingers are pointed to, which you probably won't be able to see because of the contrast. Hold up. That bit in there is what I'm currently trying to get that onto. But I can either see it or I can get my hand on the fitting. Not both at the same time. And certainly not while holding a camera. Boot on pedal. Oh, look at it! It moves! And the pedal kind of returns. Oh, yeah! I shouldn't be this excited about it, but holy shit, it's working! That's 
really. Sweet. So I now have one questionably working brake pedal. Brake pedal? I've got a working brake pedal, I've got a working brake drum even. Sweet. And it's only taken me about five hours. Not bad. Three pump for the pedal to stop the wheel, or to, to bring the wheel to stop from there. Could be better. But we do need to replace the cylinder on the other side. Because that's the khaki old one. Um, I'm going to call that a great success.